It was Back to the Future for this week's episode of Doctor Who, the Edheim penned Orphan 55. Despite not being as heavy on continuity references as Spyfall, there are still some interesting parallels to draw between this story and past adventures. Here are six things that I came up with. Number one, the episode title. This isn't the first time a Doctor episode title has featured numerical digits, but yeah, it's not a very long list. In fact, I could only think of two other examples, Season 3's Galaxy 4 and Series 3's 42. It's also the latest in a slightly longer list of stories to take their name from the world on which they're set, previous examples including Logopolis, Castrovalva, Frontios, New Earth, and Midnight. Number 2. Wearable Technology This is the fifth Chibnall era story to be set in the future, and yet another one to feature the Doctor and her companions all having to wear some sort of alien device for the purpose of the plot. Previously, we had the Universal Translators in The Ghost Monument, the Comdots in The Saranga Conundrum, and the Neural Balancers and Throat Mics in The Battle of Ranskor Avkolos. Now, we can also add the O2 canisters to that list, as well as those nose clips, whatever they were for. Number 3. A Reused Tunnel Here's something from the episode that might have passed you by. The tunnel used to represent the tunnels under the planet's surface, later revealed to be what's left of Novosibirsk Railway Station in Russia, is actually located in Gavin and Stacey country, Barry Island. It's previously featured in The Doctor's Daughter, the Torchwood episode Ghost Machine, Flatline, and The Zygon Invasion slash The Zygon Inversion. Number 4. A Mysterious Planet Now, you might have got deja vu from that tunnel scene, and with good reason. The Doctor previously found herself in a remarkably similar situation back in 1986's The Mysterious Planet, part one of the Trial of Time Lord season, when Colin Baker's sixth incarnation also discovered from a sign in a railway tunnel that the planet he was on, in this case Ravalox, was in fact Earth. Number five, a reused actor. You'd never have known it because you never see his face, it's always covered with some sort of monster prosthetic, but Spencer Wilding, who played the lead drag creature in this story, previously appeared as the Minotaur in The God Complex, the Wooden King in The Doctor, The Widow and The Wardrobe, and Ice Warrior Skaldak in Cold War. Number 6. Another Episode 3 Speech Now, okay, even I'll admit this one's a little bit tenuous, but as with the third episode of Series 11, Rosa, the third episode of Series 12, Orphan 55, ended with the Doctor delivering a speech to her companions inside the TARDIS. And if you're going to discuss this part of the story in the comments, please, please, please do keep it civil. Even if, like me, you think it felt slightly disconnected to the rest of the story, you can't deny that the Doctor has got a point. So please be nice, and don't argue about the washing up when the house is burning down. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and it's perhaps taught you something new that you hadn't noticed before. If there's anything at all that I forgot to say or didn't notice, please feel free to say it in the comments below and we can have a nice discussion about that. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon for some more new videos. Goodbye for now, guys.